I'm working on a Milky Way image that has masking on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is, this is the non-denoised version. And I'm showing you that so I can press Y and you can see the before and the after basically. Um, or what I can do is I can hold down the forward slash. It's going to be before and then after, so that's what it is. I've probably overdone it a little bit on the sky. But the way it works is I've got a sky mask. Um, it was a sky mask, but we have renamed it because we need to go to the denoise version, uh, which is here. And I go to my masks. So we've got sky and not sky. So the first thing I did was the sky area here, which is those edits you're seeing there. So basically just trying to enhance the skies. A little bit too much, I would probably pull it back, but that's not the issue. So what I did then was I right clicked on it and I went duplicate invert. So we've sky and then we've not sky. If we hover, we'll see where that mask is. Now, as you can see, there's more than the subject being selected there as well. Um, but the subject mask doesn't always catch this stuff. So we have this glow around the edge because the so what I've masked here is warmer than here. So we're getting kind of a cool tone versus a warm tone kind of a contrast. So how do we get rid of this mess? Now, bear in mind that this is the sky taken away from the picture. How do we get rid of it? Well, ironically enough, the answer is to go subtract and then select sky. So we'll just watch when I click it. See, cleans up those edges straight away. So even though this mask is the sky mask inverted, it's still got sky in it. So we need to go and subtract the sky to get cleaner edges.